This video will show you how to do the column method for addition when the units column totals 10 or more. So if I give an example calculation of 46 add 25, I'm going to write 46 first and I've got tens and units there. Again, it is really important to get everything in the correct place value column. I need to add 25 to this 46. So I correctly position 25, put a space for my answer. This time I'm gonna draw a line underneath as well. You'll see why in a moment. Okay, so I need to add the units column first. Six add five is 11. 11 would be written as one ten and one unit. So I'm going to put the unit in the answer box. I can't put the 10 that belongs to this 11 total in just yet because there are other 10s that need to be added up. So I'm going to put it here and I'm gonna put it large, the same size as all of the other numbers because it's just as important as the other numbers. Sometimes if you put it really, really small, you forget about it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the tens column. I've got four and two which totals six tens, and this one makes seven tens. So the answer on this occasion is 71. I'll do another one for you. I'm gonna put my tens and units at the top ready. This time I'm going to add 57 with 29. Again, I'll start with the units. So seven units and nine units makes 16 units. I can put the six in because I'm finished adding all of the units up now, but the 10 that makes that 16 needs to go here until I've added up the rest of the tens. Five tens and two tens makes seven tens, and this one 10 makes eight tens altogether. So the answer, is 86. If you're happy with that, then you can watch my next video, which will show you what to do if both columns come to a total of 10 or more. If this is a little bit too tricky for you at the moment, then I have a video that shows you what to do when there are no digits to carry to the next column.